Another thing that the scoffers will say is they'll, they'll look at like our bulletin. And we went over this this morning. And they'll see numbers in here. And yet we, we like keeping numbers. I think numbers are a great thing. Every number on here, when you look at the salvations and baptisms, the, the records that we keep, they represent souls. They're people. It's not just some number. We're not just trying to, to you know, have a big number just for the sake of having a big number. Every number is a person, an individual that somebody has spent their time you know, walking through the plan of salvation with that person and, and convincing them and persuading them to put their trust in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. That's what each number represents. And what this does is it helps us to keep a finger on things and to make goals and to say, hey, you know, maybe we need to spend more time out reach, you know, preaching the gospel. We need to reach, you know, spend more time trying to reach people and to help us not get lazy. So we see these numbers and it's also encouraging. Hey, praise God. There's other people out here doing this too. You don't have to feel alone in going out and preaching the gospel to people. You've got a whole church full of people that love doing this. And I'll tell you what, the reason why you see numbers like this, we don't have the biggest church in the world. We have a, you know, a relatively small church. But when you see, wow, how did you lead over 200 people to Christ just in the first three months of the year? How did that happen? Do you know why that happened? Yeah, it's, it's a lot of people. It is a lot of people. Do you know how that happens? It's because almost every single person in this church goes out and tries to lead people to Christ. Amen. I mean, literally almost every single person in this church does it. When you have that many people doing the work, that number of hours on the street, because it's, it's not like people are just getting saved left and right when you go out sowing. It's a lot of work to it. I found a pretty good average. If you spend an hour of time trying to talk to people, knock on doors, a pretty decent average is about one person's going to get saved per hour. But that's not always the way it works out. Sometimes you can spend three hours and zero people get saved. And you're talking to people and you're trying to convince them and they won't have it. But then other days you can go out and you talk to a few people and they'll get saved. You know, it's just, the bottom line is you need a lot of time. So that's over 200 hours, man hours being put in. That's a lot of time and effort being put into trying to lead people across. And that's how you get those type of numbers. And just for, again, to, for the, especially for people who haven't been here before, we do not believe in this one, two, three, repeat after me type of salvation process where you just say, okay, hey, do you know what Jesus died for your sins? Okay, you know you're a sinner, right? Okay, well, let's just uh, pray with me now and, and, and receive Christ and you'll be saved forever. There are people out there that do that and they bring a bad name on soul winning because they try to rush through the gospel too quick. They don't even use Bible verses half the time and they just, they just try to get, because, why? Because they just want to impress people or get their numbers up or whatever or they're just ignorant and they don't really know what they're doing, one or the other. We take time. I would say the average, at least, at least 10 to 20 minutes we're, we're going through showing verses, explaining, making sure people understand, you know, the ramifications of sin, showing them hell, showing them God's point, you know, showing them what Christ did, showing all of these different things, explaining eternal security, explaining the freeness of the gift, explaining it's by grace, explaining all these different concepts. It's a must. And that's what we practice here, and that's what we teach and believe here as well. It's not just some light thing, and, you know, we communicate with people. Have them ask questions. Ask them questions. Make sure they understand, and that we're not just preaching at them, and then, okay, let's pray. No. It's a communication. We're, we're, we're interested in their souls.